Hello once again gamers, Cruise Nick X back with more Final Fantasy XIV and the Path of the Paladin. It's been a long and grueling It's been a long and grueling grind. It's taken a lot of time. But we finally made it. We finally reached level 70 on Paladin. Um, I'm currently equipped with all the tanking gear I've got. Um, because Chris Valentine, well, my main character has already been through the main storyline, and I've been pretty much grinding a lot. So I'm pretty much equipped with everything. I am probably severely overpowered for this, with the exception of the sword and shield, um, which are at level 68. Um, and those were the best I could afford. Um, for what it's worth. Um, granted, I'll probably make more gill some other time and in some other way, but for right now, we've got bigger fish to fry. Down there is the Blood Sands, the place where the old cup is happening, or was happening in the last episode. Um, in the last episode, we were supposed to face Black Lotus in the Old Cup Final. However, due to certain events, Black Lotus withdrew from the tournament, leaving us to win by default. However, we weren't supposed we weren't gonna take that freaking we weren't gonna take that lightly. So we fought we tracked down Black Lotus, who turned out to be Alden. If you remember all, if you watched the, uh, if you've ever been through the Gladiator storyline, or if you remember watching my Gladiators playthrough, you'll remember Alden as the Sword of Nald, who was banished from the Colosseum for some kind of cheating, or uh, I don't remember. All I know is that he was actually Black Lotus, and the reason why he withdrew is because he was being blackmailed by someone. The kid who was with him back when we met him over here was kind of like a nephew to him. Not really by blood, but you get the idea. My Mylia had a freaking reaction. Mylia had a bad reaction earlier, but let's not worry about it. Let's not talk about that. Anyways, it's time to settle this once and for all and hope to the gods that we're able to do a final bout. We'll see what happens. It's time to finish the Stormblood it's time to finish the Stormblood Paladin storyline with the level 70 quest right? Raising the sword. Let's get to it. It's official, Chris. The Colosseum has agreed to host the Old Cup final anew. In the interest of maintaining excitement, things are already in motion. And lest you wonder, Ode has since been apprehended by the Brass Blades and cannot hinder the proceedings. Aldis has been informed and makes ready even as we speak. And you should likewise see to your own preparations. When all is in order, the tournament registrar will escort you through to the arena. Suffice it to say, I shall be cheering you on from the viewing gallery. Good luck, Chris. And give Aldous a kiss for me with the rim of your shield. Oh, believe me, I will. Alright. Let's do this. This is it, my lord. No more sudden changes of plan. Are you ready to proceed? Of course I am. I can already hear the... Everybody's here to watch the big bout. Even the Sultana's here. And Jenlins. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, at long last, the moment you've been waiting for is here. 
the Ul Cup Final. Before this starts, I want to know something. Is it true Black Lotus is actually Aldis, the Sword of Nald? What? Black Lotus? I must ask you to remove your helm. <laughs> what the hell? Those balls! It's really him! What'll happen now? Nothing'll happen, that's what. Once expelled, a gladiator will not fight in the Colosseum again. There'll be no match. Aye, that's right. All this time it was me. I'm the last person who needs to be reminded of my own banishment. If you wish to call off the final, then so be it. I'll not argue. Nonetheless, I ask you this. Will you not let Chris and I fight? We promise to give you a match that the bards so sing long of. One of the greatest swordsmen of our age is about to cross swords with a fabled hero, and you have to even think about it? Everyone here must be aching to see them fight! Is it not so? If there's any indication of dishonest conduct, I shall take his head myself! But give them a chance, I say! Remember the incredible performances they've given us thus far! And imagine how much finer it'll be! The first sword speaks true! This is a once-in-a-lifetime event! Twould be a crying shame to have it end like this! Aye! Listen to Mylia! I came here for a final and I want one, damn it! Me too! I've watched all this since I was a lad! And I want to watch him fight again! Let it happen! Rules be damned! You have no objections, Chris? Of course not. I must confess that I too have awaited the match with bated breath. There will be a time enough afterwards to revisit past misdeeds. All right. There you have it, Aldous. You have the blessing of all present. Don't ever change, Mila. Come, Chris! Your opponent is the Sword of Nald! <laughs> Let's rock! With the blessing of Naldal, two mighty warriors now meet in the full cup final. Come, Chris. Show me what you can do. Let's see if you can dodge my specialty. Time to break out some skills of my own. He's going all out there. Here's something new to knock you off your feet. Can you withstand this?
Stay put for me, will you? Who? Storms of Dunlan, devour all before you! Ooh, I wish I had some of these moves. Stronger than the rumors may have you believe. But remember, this is the sword of Nob you're th facing. Let's see if you can outlast me. In retrospect, I probably should stun him, but I don't think it would work out well. Champion of the Old Cup, the greatest swordsman in the realm, is Chris Valentine! We did it. Magnificent performance from start to finish. Such exquisite blade work I have seldom beheld. Now then, perchance you have heard that the champion would be rewarded awarded a rare tome. One which It's open. Sorry about that, folks. Let's try that again. Now then, perchance you have heard that the champion would be awarded a rare tome. One which holds the secret... One which holds the secret techniques of the first captain of the Sultan's Oh, great, I can't find my controller now. Oh, found it. Papa John, if you would be so kind. Ahem, <clears throat> if I might speak plain, Your Grace. The tome does not exist. What? Ah, oh, cocktease! Well, well, I see what you did there, Master Papa John. You revived not only Sultan Sissy Gun's tournament, but its vision as well. Seems a history lesson is in order. <clears throat> During his reign, Sultan Sasagun Ulsisagun invited swordsmen of all lands to Uldar to fight with his own elite in tournaments. In time, such tournaments came to attract swords, 
given rise to a national institution. The Grand Diversion, that is, the Colosseum. While that was a defining development for Uda, historians believe that, in bringing together expert swordsmen, the Sultan's true intent was to advance the gladiatorial arts. But when the balance of power shifted away from the royalists, the royal house lost access to the enormous funds needed to host grand tournaments. The revival of the old cup, the promise of a non-existent prize, all of it was in emulation of Sultan Sisigan, of Sultan Sasagan's vision. You are most perceptive of this. The true purpose in bringing together the highest names in swordplay was to raise the gladiatorial arts higher as the Sultan once did. And though we walk in his footsteps, our destination lies a little farther. For it is not only it is my hope that not only Ulda, but Eorzea as a whole is strengthened. From the Galian menace to the beast tribes and their primals, the realm is faced with numerous threats. If we are to protect our homes and loved ones, we must keep our blades sharp and our shields strong. Forgive me, Your Grace. Had you known there was neither tome nor technique, I feared you would not consent to the tournament. You should have consulted me from the first! As it stands, we must needs find another means of rewarding our champion. My dear Chris, speak unto me your desire. I shall do mine utmost to bestow it. A pardon for Aldis. A noble request befitting your kind-hearted self. Oh, I grant it, however. There is one thing I would know. I am given to understand you were sentenced to exile for being party to bribery. Is this true? It is, Your Grace. I see. Very well, then. I, Namamo Ul Namo, Sultana of Ulda, do hereby absolve you of all crimes. Our fair nation has need of men of your strength and skill, now more than ever. Twould be unconscionable to cast you aside. And to the champion Chris, I offer my joyous congratulations. Your victory this day shall long remain in our hearts and minds. Thank you, Your Grace. Though the tournament has come to a close, I pray that all of you shall ever strive to raise your art higher for the good of all the realm. Let's speak with Mila. Oh, hey, my bird, bluebird minion came back. Good to see all this in old clothes again. And with his sword still by his side. Alright, let's first talk with the, uh, with everyone else. Starting with Dower Metalo. A well-deserved victory. Congratulations. You're even stronger than Uncle Aldi. I'm gonna challenge you one day. I'm gonna have to train extra. If I'm gonna challenge you one day, I'm gonna have to train extra hard. Aldis? That was a fight to remember. You've truly grown strong, my friend. All right, Miller. What do you have to say? You're even stronger than Uncle. Oh, it's just a repeat of half the shit. You're even stronger than Uncle Aldi. If I'm gonna challenge you one day, I'm gonna have to train extra hard. To think that such a motive existed for the tournament, we gladiators too must endeavor to do our part for the greater good of the realm. Here, here, my dear. Ah, but things must one must do to arrange a simple match with Chris. Ah, but the things one must do to arrange a simple match with Chris. Judging by how quickly you've improved in my short time away. Had we fought but a few days earlier, I like to think I would have come out on top. 
So, I'm going to return to the Coliseum. You have a Grace's personal endorsement. I'd say that's about as good as one can get. And as a finalist in the Old Cup, you would draw decent crowds. We'd be glad to have you back. <laughs> I never dreamed this that this day would come. Well, I suppose I'll resume my wanderings. What? You're giving a royal parting and yet you're leaving Ulda again? Mela, you watched Chris and I fight. For all my training during my travels, all the hardships I subjected myself to, I was no match for him. Tis plain I still won for experience, for knowledge and skill. And I won't be at peace until I gain it. Surely you understand this. Yes, but... Worry not, Mila. I will visit whenever I can. After all, there's a filly back home who whinnies incessantly after me. <laughs> and you, my free paladin friend. Not only did you oblige me with a match, you rescued my boy and defended my honor besides. For that, I cannot thank you enough. I learned much and more from our encounter, and I should be glad if you got something out of it also. Keenly do I look forward to our next meeting, where we can simply square off with no complicating factors to distract us. And with that, the level 70 quest, Raising the Sword, is complete. With it, we have obtained the final skill of the he Crossing Swords with the Realm's Finest has raised you to greater heights. And we've learned the action Passage of Arms. This concludes the... And we've unlocked the achievement like a Knight in Shining Armor 3. This concludes the... <laughs> this concludes the Path of the Paladin quest for Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. Unfortunately, we don't have any more to do in terms of the Paladin um, due to the fact that no, there are no more quests for it until the next expansion. So, please look forward to that. Um, but anyways... Let's uh, show off what we got here. First and foremost, the skill, Passage of Arms, which I put where? Oh, I put it right here. The final skill in the Paladin Assault is a skill, Passage of Arms, Increases the block rate to 100 and creates a designated area in a cone behind you to which, in which party members will only suffer 85% of all damage inflicted. It ends upon using another action or moving, including facing a different direction, and it cancels auto attack upon execution. The duration only lasts for 18 seconds, but that can save you from pretty much a huge attack from any big boss but that's not all we've got and thank god i cleared out my inventory before this episode because we've got the chivalrous armor coffer as well and it's time to throw this bad boy on with all the accoutrements so Yes, I'm stripping out in the middle of old eye. I do not care. All right. So let's get right down to it. For the pants, we've got the chivalrous creases. Que um, creases. I don't know how to really pronounce that. We've got this for leg, for feet. We've got the chivalrous solarets. For chest gear, for a body, we've got the chivalrous. Um, the Chivalrous Surcoat, I should have said that. Um, for hands, we have the Chivalrous Gauntlets. For headgear, we've got the Chivalrous Circlet. And they did not give us a belt for this one. 
in this, um, probably in the next expansion or in the future, they'll uh, do something like that, but we'll see what happens. Um, I'm gonna just put in the Ryu Maku Obi offending just because, and I'm gonna put back all my good uh, accessories. But last but not least, we have a the Stormblood ones come with weapon and and shield. For the shield, we have the antiquated Evalok, and for sword, the antiquated Gadolin. And boy, do they look pretty! Oh, Alex Swan is watching us on Twitch. Uh, thank you, Alex, for. The compliment, and I gotta tell you, I just found my new favorite paladin armor. This is going to be, oh, I am gonna be so happy when I start getting this freaking up to 70. I mean, not up, <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, when I start doing relic shit, um, this is definitely going to be a serious glamour. Um, I hope I can max, I, I seriously hope I can max out this armor. Um, but with that being said, that concludes the Path of the Paladin for Stormblood. Um, and hopefully in the new expansion, we'll get some new quests, a new quest line a pro that hopes to be promising. Um, but yeah, this uh, tournament arc was pretty freaking fun. Um, I will admit that. So, um... <laughs> With that being said, that will conclude this quest line until the next expansion. With that being said, next episode, we'll move on to bigger and better things. It t in, the next in the next live stream we have, I'm going to be doing a job that I haven't done. I have not even used since Heaven's Ward. That's how long it's been since I've use this job so it's so it's going to be interesting to wield it um and feel like i'm back in gear but in the next live stream we will be doing the path of the monk once again and we get to do this with chris valentine instead of taro cabot which i am quite happy about um, but until then, that's going to be it for this episode of Cruise Mix Purgatory. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed the show. As always, if you're watching this on Twitch or live at PlayStation and you like this show, feel free to click the follow button and be sure to turn on notifications so you're informed of all of my live streams and videos the moment they air on Twitch or live at PlayStation. If you're watching this on YouTube and you like this video, click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel by clicking here. Click here to watch more by me. Click here to watch the previous episode. And click here to watch the next episode of Path of the Paladin when it comes out in the next expansion. Until next time, Cruise the Gex. Signing out.